If anyone knows what goes into crafting a State of the Nation address, it's this man. Frank Chikane served as Director General in the Presidency for a decade. The State of the Nation is not the President waking up in the morning and drafting a, a statement or a, a speech. Um, it's not also some individual who's a speech writer who actually wakes up and says, what's the president going to say? This is government. So state of the nation is about the rest, the whole of government, speaking in one voice through the president. At the heart of preparing for the president's most important speech of the year is the Forum of Directors General, a body that brings together the administrative heads of all departments. We met three times a year. But the November meeting was about the future. We analyzed what has happened, the performance of government. Oh, in there. From there, the evolving speech receives some political seasoning. The ANC's January 8 statement, the National Executive Committee Lekhotla and the Cabinet Lekhotla all influence it. <coughs> The ministers look at it from a political perspective. They may introduce new things, by the way, when they come in, because they've got the right to do that. And then from there on, the draft gets made. Then it's off to the union buildings, West Wing. Now, president can throw it away, and you know, like Mbeki does from time to time. But what it does, it, it becomes the raw material from which he can make his speech, even if he threw away the text, but he uses the material. Chikane says this system ensures that every undertaking the president makes in his State of the Nation address is supported by practical considerations, including the available budget and government's capacity to deliver. <laughs> Tulasizwe Semelane, Johannesburg.